Ouch, that is seriously weak, dude. For the second month in a row, we have got what I would say is a pretty weak update for Gran Turismo 7, but nonetheless, I'm excited specifically for this Evo. Now, I'm gonna be honest, in my brain, I don't actually know what Evos are in the game and what's not in the game. There's also the TTS, is it a TT? It's a TTS. Which, if you have a TTS, it's pretty cool. But yeah, there's no denying that the Gran Turismo updates are clearly getting a bit weak, which kind of reaffirms that if you haven't seen, Gran Turismo is rumored to be coming to PC. Many times it's been rumored. They shut down the old servers, which means they're doing something. They're probably working on the next game. Let's be real. I'm always kind of curious, at what point did things move over to the used car dealership? This is from 2006. I think it's like 2000 is when, maybe the 90s, but essentially we've got the Evo 10 final edition. We've now got the Evo IX MR GSR, very, very aggressive sounding, which actually we didn't have before. I mean, obviously it's a new car, but like, what other evos do we have in this game? I need to like check a list. Now, I still don't know Roman numerals, but what I'm gonna do is show you on screen the evos that have been in the game. We've got 50 evo 10s. We've got the VI, the V, and the IV. But now we've got the nine. So to be fair, there was quite a lot of evos missing and now we're filling that. So this is definitely one that people are going to be interested in. Either way, I'm excited to check this out. I'm also interested to see what engine swaps they've added, which I actually don't know yet. They usually add some bangers, but just wait a little bit of time before we try those. Ultimately, this Evo has nothing. <laughs> I was kind of expecting at least a little something in terms of engine swaps, but apparently absolutely nothing. But that doesn't mean that's always going to be the case. This may change. We may get like a V6 or a V8 swap. We do have a wide body. I'm interested to see what Gran Turismo's customization is. That is actually maybe one of the best wide bodies I've seen in Gran Turismo. Look at that. Look at that. Let's get this puppy installed. Widen out my boy. Please and thank you very much. Now, the Evo's modern evos usually were my type of thing i kind of like the evo 10 visually i personally think it's the coolest looking however the 789 all very nice then i started to like the five and the four basically all evos are really cool and something i really keep thinking about is i really appreciate these cars coming to gran turismo for multiple reasons i get to enjoy and drive them as kind of the most accurate models and that actually helps with something as well. We know Gran Turismo is always online, unfortunately, but they are not permanently gonna keep this thing always online. Gran Turismo is creating the most accurate, pristine models that exist in any game. These models will be used for decades and they'd still look fine because they've gone absolutely ham into, I don't know what size to go for. They've gone absolutely ham in terms of quality. Anyway, I needed to make them wide as you can see. Oh my God, I'll take it back. I'm not doing wide. I'm going to be honest. I love the fat tire look. It looks sexy. Like the bulging tires. I love it so much. Let's hope they just kind of fit the arches. When we lower this thing to the ground a little bit more, because it definitely needs it. But Gran Turismo is basically the car museum. We get to appreciate these cars forever. And this will be the best way to look at cars once they're dead and gone, which sounds really sad, I know. But think where Gran Turismo could go in the future. Like, you, you, you'd basically... Oh, you could kind of have like an ownership of the car in, by having it in Gran Turismo. Because one day, cars are gonna, the petrol cars are gonna be in the bin, but we'll at least be able to appreciate them here. So please, I beg of you, get us an Eclipse in here. That would be incredible. So the standard wing, beautiful as is, we can actually remove the bits at the top. The little, the little, it's even got a wiper delete. Holy crap. I was not expecting that. And of course, there's the custom wing, which we can go a little bit mental with. Or we can stay kind of satisfied, original. I kind of like it. Position the number plate. Such a cool little feature. Light bulbs. Oh, 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 disgusting. Let's make them nice. Should we go for, let's go like LED, blinding LEDs. <laughs> there's even front grill customization. That's pretty cool. You can depatch the damn. Is it Need for Speed Pro Street? What the? I'm gonna keep it though. <laughs> Not bad, considering the bumpers you could fully swap out. I wish there were more options, if I'm honest. But this car is ultimately carrying the update. It's pretty obvious that we're gonna be getting the next game 
before the end of the generation do you think they'll try and release it like next year or something anyway let's see the ultimate pp upgrades what pp can we get from this thing let's put in the racing intercooler put on the racing silencer get this thing popping i'm kind of curious in terms of power what we're going to be looking at with this little tiny pp engine that's been the only thing that hasn't really made me an evo guy as i say i kind of love the evo 10 visually i think it's my favorite one to look at it is a bit big but the problem is it's not the best by any chance it's got a lot of plastic stuff that was basically from the mitsubishi bin for example the clutch master cylinder made of absolute just pure garbage plastic and it would break and leak and get just rubbish get it derived from their suvs there are many swaps you can do from previous evos into the evo 10 to make it a little bit more solid by the way you should buy mine it's on uh, it's on ebay <laughs> also really want to give a massive thank you might have noticed my microphone is different thank you to Shaw. oh yes hi rpm turbo you may know them this is the sm7db a brand new microphone and they sent me out a couple of little goodies to basically do up my sim rig they also do this which is one of the smallest digital audio interfaces i have ever seen but again they just sent me it it's not paid for but there's a link down below if you want to check them out because again they're helping me out and it's good stuff but it'll also be good to just hear what you think of this microphone opposed to the other one that i generally use across my videos anyway we are almost there we've got a couple of extra little bits in there but i'm kind of i'm kind of excited this is all going to be about 600 it's about 550 horsepower I, i'm doing the roundup thing I, oh god i'm becoming the same as everyone else I can't, I can't help myself none of us can there's actually this event here which is the suggested pp is 600 suggested uh so we can enter this it's the all-wheel drive sorry four-wheel drive challenge 600 i i'm 740 so i shouldn't really have an issue but i think this will be a cool thing to enter at the same time i'm pretty sure yeah 260 kilometers it's a bit low so let's <laughs> definitely up that and enable our anti-lag system yes i love it there's actually so many cars that i would love to test against this i would love to just do like a full evo kind of session like what if we compared all evos at the same time i might shut up this is good holy i also didn't pay attention to what we did weight wise because this thing is gonna be properly light for the amount of weight reduction we could do. Mate, that thing could be powered by an LFA engine. Clearly right now it's not. Wow, it sounds good. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know what an Evo 9 really sounds like, but... This sounds about what I'd expect for a proper high-end build of something like this. <laughs> oh, it's good. I definitely love the stock wing look i wish there was like maybe a bigger version of the standard wing i probably should have <laughs> actually gone to 600 it is so stable a lot of the cars recently we've been trying to this and the cayman the cayman we tried the gt4 with the engine swap it is so stable out of the gate it's kind of shocking it's not normally what i would expect but this is beautiful you know exactly what it's gonna do and I'm not afraid of it at all. <laughs> to any capacity. Oh, bit of, bit of understeer, it's fine. No problem. <laughs> Is that real? A real? I'm sure it's a real thing. Why in the Lancer does it just say Lancer in one of the dials? Is there an extra dial you can get on one of the special editions of it? That was way too slow. But there must be something there, right? <laughs> Oh, it's good. It's quick. It's very quick. It is two laps, which is good. I was kind of thinking as well, it would be really cool to have a rally spec of this exact same car. But at the same time, it just look it's too hot. It's too hot to throw it around off road. But it's it could do it very well. Brake, brake, brake. Bit harder on the brakes there, please. Alright, I'll do my best, mate. It's fine. Ignore it, it's just a little bump. If I can go a whole damn race without crashing and me doing my stupid camera switching like I do all the time, I know it's really distracting. 
I want to see it from multiple angles. But the fact I feel like I can commentate so well with you guys while driving this thing shows my absolute confidence with it. Normally, it's definitely a fine balance. That you got your Jimmy Broadbent. <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got your I don't even know I guess me <laughs> that maybe leans in a little bit more to the talking at his eyes <laughs> wow this is so good I take it back this is no longer a shut up day <laughs> this is a good one I am properly happy with how that has gone. How did I put my high beams on? Maybe it's dynamic? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what the button is, eh? Either that my car's breaking as I do this damn race. Wow. Genuinely very, very impressed with this little thing. And I definitely need to know how, how light it is because it feels solid. Oh, the flames! Oh, yes! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. The whole damn tunnel. <laughs> this car has easily elevated the update from being a really just not great update to something. <laughs> you know what? It's better than the last one. Which, to be fair, is, it wasn't very difficult to do that. It's been... It's pretty obvious, right? I just saw it. It's 1.1 tons. That's not bad. So the other car is the TTS Coupe from 2009. I had a TT. It wasn't this generation. It was, I think it was a gen older, right? Is there a gen? I think that's like a gen two or three. I don't bloody know. Basically, this thing is really cool. I do like them. The TT is now dead. So of course, it's nice to have this in the, the, the wardrobe of old cars, the <laughs> museum of old cars. We, of course, then have got this beautiful Evo. I, I really do... This has elevated my like for the car. I'm going to be completely honest. I wasn't a huge, huge Evo guy, but this game slowly. And we've got the Renault. <laughs> the Renault R4. Now, this one I've been saving because if this thing does not have one of the best engine swaps in the series ever, I will be very upset. Think of the power we could get from this thing. Think of the hilarity. So we will be checking that out in terms of the TT. I don't really know. Uh, <laughs> it's a TT. We've got we've got other TTs in the game. Then we've got one extra menu will be added to the cafe, which is, I'm guessing, a Lamborghini. That's the old place, isn't it? It's, it's kind of upgraded from Gran Turismo Sport. We've got some new events in here. We've got some new scapes added, and that's your update. So it's pretty bare bones, but of course, we like new cars. Good to know <laughs> that you here can purchase the TTS and you can buy the R4, so make sure you jump on it today if you want to get these cards, because they do recycle. But we have now got one of these. Could be tempted to get another one. Um, the Fiat 500F, why does that say new? That's not new, is it? Anyway, here's the TTS, so I'm actually going to purchase it just because it's on the store, and it's 60 grand, may as well. And of course, can show you guys the customization a little bit slight, but ultimately, I don't really care if, how it drives, to be honest. And then we've got this Renault 4, which is PP, 153 it's quite a small pp i don't know anything about this car but i'm sure the french are very happy very very happy may as well give that a go as well so we're in the tt and there is no engine swap available there is a wide body available this wide body is actually good i'm gonna say the wide bodies so far have been improving drastically opposed to what they were in terms of the upgrade systems you could do the high rpm turbocharger and things like that but you're going to be boosting these four cylinders through the roof and it's going to blow up into tiny little pieces. I just don't care enough. Sorry, TT. <laughs> it sounds uh, pretty, pretty much what you would expect, but the detail on it, the detail on it, look at it. We will, I don't think we'll ever see more detailed models than this. It, it, it's almost pointless. It's crisp, it's beautiful. This thing weighs 720 kg. And ultimately, I wanna see how this thing performs as it is. It's a little box, that's for sure. Is this the French take on the Volkswagen Beetle? Because it seems to be mixing me up in these. We can shift gears. 
Here we go. Look at his hand. Look at this man's hand. He's ready to shift down because <laughs> it's so damn slow. <laughs> what are you doing, sir? There we go. Yep, yep. Fantastic piece of machinery. This is gonna be <laughs> this is gonna be difficult. <laughs> this man's just holding his hand above the, the shifter. It's that slow. He just he just doesn't care to hold the wheel. He's given up. He's given up hope. <laughs> Ain't no way you need to use more. What? Where did you come from? Move! Yes! Oh. Nope. Oh. Yep, yeah, money shift. This may be the slowest race I have ever, ever done. Yeah, nah, I give up. <laughs> I got things to do, like give it more power. Very, very disappointing update in terms of the engine swaps, but the wide bodies. No, I kind of hate it, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> they even put that animation. You just stuck something on there and cut. They should have a different animation for each one. That would be pretty cool. That would be kind of funky. Like maybe they just pull out a massive saw or something. I don't know. One thing that's kind of weird. Look at these like straps that seem to be holding up the, the bumper. That's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't it looks like it looks like straps but i think they're probably metal pieces but nonetheless they're coming out the front of the bloody it's very very odd if i'm honest do you know be kind of cool if gran turismo gave you like in a soothing voice like an explanation about the car i know they have some explanations do i know where to find them probably not but kind of like need for speed tried to with hot pursuit it would make so much more sense in this game would it not right i'm really hoping that this is carried absolutely carried look it's telling me to put these on it's just telling me i don't think they really suit it to be honest with you <laughs> i really don't know what would suit it i feel like the steelies may be the best option let's see if we can make it look like a little bit of a hot boy whatever we're doing it i don't care if you hate it oh oh yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. that's fantastic <laughs> actually i don't hate it to be honest it looks kind of cool i'm gonna Maybe a 15. So these are the custom parts. We can do a bumper delete, which actually looks kind of dope. Hang on. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I'm going to go for the bumper delete. It looks really cool. It looks like a little toy car. I kind of like that little detail, but it looks better without it. Let's remove it. We got rear customization. We can do a rear bumper delete. Oh, oh, yes. And the wing. One option. Got to be honest. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you also have the bonnet pins. You could put... Oh, yeah. Tie them down with bloody belts. <laughs> and we'll go with a roll cage as well. Fix them horrible lights for the 5,000K. We can do a nice little plate. I kind of like the Renault 4. We got the, the surrounds. Oh, that's so much nicer. Yeah. Now, what I'm really hoping is the power is on our side. We have no ultimate... Oh, no. We do have some ultimate things. Holy crap. 42 horsepower man we are gonna hurt somebody with that power yeah because we can we're gonna put a mouse on it <laughs> why would i not I just blow this box up <laughs> we, we can also do quite a lot of customization it seems in terms of power which is fantastic news because it really needs it six grand for the clutch that surely that costs more than the car's worth changing the tires Wow, doubles the PP almost, which is kind of crazy. I didn't think it would matter because it has no power. So what power could it put down? <laughs> and we could do the high RPM turbo, which, oh, 100 horsepower. Almost, almost. I don't want to bait this. 100 horsepower. <laughs> we can bore it up as well. We can get high compression pistons. This thing weighs 720 kilograms, apparently. After... I thought it would be lighter, to be honest. All right, let's get this weight reduction down then. So it seems like in terms of power, overall, fine. Kind of maybe expected a little bit more. Kind of just explains the update in general, I feel. But maybe I'll be shocked. Maybe I'll be surprised. Maybe I will be wrong. We can't even do stage four. Disgraceful. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's add these to my wish list. <laughs> Thank you. I gotta go right in the box there. There you go. Oh, that Mazda looks sick. The Kuntash is 1.25 million. It's a lot of money. Can't justify it. Sorry, sorry, I got distracted there. Back to the French. So, in terms of heights, we're about 145. That's maybe a bit too much. Let's lower it down just 
a smidge. We've got the ECU. We've, we haven't got the anti-lag. <laughs> Currently at 140, 250, 200. Not really expecting much. About 155 miles an hour. Should be right. I. Uh, yep, there we go. <laughs> what? Why is there a V8 advantage in it? Come on, get on boost. Full boost. Oh my God, I've made the gears a little bit too long there. It doesn't steer, it doesn't turn. This may be the worst car I have ever driven. Maybe I need to lower the miles per hour. I thought 155 would be like where we should be. Oh, that beautiful. What the f just happened? I'm giving you one more chance, French car. Clearly, that's too much to ask. 180? That's literally 100 miles an hour. Why are all these cars here? He's pulling off before the start line. What the f It's fine. We've got NOS. Maybe we can make a comeback of some kind. F you, Alfa Romeo! Leave me alone, all of you! Ah! <laughs> Boost! That's right, it's 15! Stay in the bin, you piss monkey! Let's go again, watch me, watch me, watch me! Careful, don't bomb out, don't bomb out! Yes, we're good! Oh, 100 miles an hour! So you can do over 100. Now, what the f what is with you? I hate you so much. Why don't you turn? Ah, uh, what was that? F this car, piece of shit. Thanks for watching. <laughs> There's more here, by the way.